Of approximately 61,000 residents in Utica, New York, nearly 11,000 are immigrants and refugees, and 450 or more arrive here each year. Utica was a manufacturing town. In the 1970s and 1980s, some of our factories began to leave, and our population began to uh, decline. But then later in the 1980s, in came the refugees. They began to buy houses. You drive around East Utica, you'll see many businesses uh, run by some of the refugees from other countries. And would you say that they have revived the economy? I think it's been a godsend. Hey, how are you? What's your name? Chris. Do you run this place? Yeah, collectively. Chris Sunderland helps to run the Midtown Utica Community Center. And this place is a bit of a hangout. It just seems like a bag of fun. It is also a place for anyone to come and dance and play and learn. They provide food assistance programs and more. Where are you from? Kenya. Okay. Where is Somali Bantu, but we left Somalia due to war. That must have been a very hard decision for them when they left Kenya to come to America. Did what, was, what she thought was right for her family. Yeah. yeah. With the afternoon vibe of this place in full swing, Chris and I took a moment to chat. Are there people in Utica who are uncomfortable with the levels of uh, refugees that yes. come here? Yes, the, the wonderful older woman who owned the house, uh, she asked me one day why there were so many Asians moving onto the street. I, I said, I don't know, but they're cleaning up the block, so. And is that true? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, you, you, if I took a, I should have taken pictures six years ago. And this street has quite a high concentration of refugees, right? Yes. And it, it's all come yeah, full circle. Stores. There's a health clinic there. There's uh, three different grocery stores. So this area is getting, getting better? Yeah. There's a lot more that the United States and the rest of the international community can do to more effectively address the global refugee crisis. We have to protect the rights of refugees to flee their country, and when they get to a neighboring country, refugees need to be able to access education and they need to be able to work. If they can't do those things, they're not gonna be able to stay there, they're not gonna be able to support their families, they're gonna be a constant risk of being returned back uh, to face danger and harm. Most of us come from immigrant families. My grandmother and grandfather came from Italy in the 1890s. They were welcomed here. Who am I not to welcome refugees here?